Hi, this is Boynton Stu. This is my electric bike. After I got my two-leg kickstand on it, with the rear wheel in the air, I figured I might try a dynamic testing of my cells and battery system. To that end, I have a homemade ammeter. The ammeter measures millivolts, and the millivolts is measured across one foot of number 10 wire which has a one milliohm resistance so right now it's showing 1.3 that's the zero point of the meter For every milliamp after that it, it would represent one amp now we start off I'm watching my balance charger and each individual six-pack is about 4.08 volts. What I'm going to do is turn on the bike with the switch. Oh, you've heard the six beeps. Those are the six cells. The uh, voltage has not changed and I'm going to use the brake to dynamically test the motor and the battery system so I'm gonna okay we're looking at one milliamp there now I'm gonna show you that it works number one Hardly a difference. So let's give it some. Now we're drawing 3.4.4 amps. Let's give it some some more. Now that's a lot of speed, but there's no load on it. Put a load on it by putting the brake on. And look what happened to the voltage. It went from 4.08 to 3.9. Now we're only very much. up to the four approximately. I'm a little surprised that we're not pulling many amps. We never did pull many amps. So what is my conclusion? My conclusion is the battery works. The voltage is now after the load is back up into the fours see that 4.01 battery the bike works fine but instead of getting the rpms 
that it should, which is enough to make it go 30 miles an hour, it only brings it to about 17.18. Let's do it one more time. So now the battery is flipped off. So we can see that these batteries, which are recycled laptop batteries, will pull down in voltage because they just can't supply the current at the 4 volt plus level. And we know now with the dynamic testing that the current, which in my mind is a little slow, but with quite a load, it's only taking 5 amps at 20 volts. That's, this is a 100 watt bike at this point. Something like that. 5 times 4 uh, five t 20 volts at uh, 4 would be 80, 80 watts. So it's an 80 to 100 watt bike at this point. Those are my 6 cells. And if you're interested in how I made the uh, ammeter, DC ammeter, I'll uh, link it below. Boynton Stew.